looking I'm looking at bricklaying and electric electrician and plumbing, whatever I can get, but yeah, how comes you don't recommend bricklaying? It's higher paying than Bam, you know what? Sometimes you want to just get a job that you're gonna be proud of and that. It's up to you. If you'll be proud of being a bricklayer, do it. Do it. But it's more backbreaking work. Like I say in my videos, the more you put in the classroom, the easier your job will be physically on your body, typically. Look at doctors. Doctors will spend eight years of their life in the classroom, then they just sit around on a desk, yeah, writing prescription and that. It's an easy job. It's less strain on your body because they have to put their mind, their, their mind, their, 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 there was a lot of strain on their brain. So by extension, there's not going to be that much strain on their body once they become qualified. But if you don't put much strain on your mind in the classroom, by extension, you're going to have a lot of strain on your body. It's the way it works. Okay, you don't want to be um, an accountant or electrician or a banker or a lawyer. You want to be a delivery man. Okay, there's no strain on the mind, but there's going to be strain on your body. Oh, you want to be a financial advisor or an accountant and that. All right, there's going to be some strain on the brain, but less strain on the body. Even in the, even the electrical world. There's guys that just be electricians and that. Okay. So the guys that become the inspector and testers, they put more strain on their mind because the exams are harder, but their job as an electrical tester is much easier. So if they took the little bit more of an easy route and just became electrician, okay, there's less strain on the brain, but you're going to be doing more of a physical job. If you put more strain on the brain, then your job as an electrical tester is going to be easier, less strain on the body.